I worked the summer of 1997 with my father in the 100 degree midday heat under a steel canopy in an old hangar at Rialto Municipal Airport. The walls were multicolored with paint, an occasional centerfold glued permanently in place, and droppings from pigeons that used the corners for a home. When I was small, all I knew about work was at home, and that was Saturdays, cutting grass with my father. My life poured out in sweat as I searched for shade, and it wasn't hard to find under the dark canopy of the palm tree on our corner. Its shadow was painted on the freshly cut lawn, and I thought hard about work at the airport. All I ever painted were model planes, a collective miniature airport on my bedroom dresser, imaginary B-10 bombers that were larger than my street, the skinny brushes hardened inside those small glass jars of paint until my father brought home thinner to soak them in. Under the canopy of my room, I flew my model planes far from the smell of chemical stripper, a place where the flaky psoriasis of over 22 years in some airport disappeared into the heat above our heads, hanging like a burning canopy. Is it fair to ask you, do you get bored of living at home, bored of loving a wife for 30 some years, being a father, the smell of cancer forming in your lungs from polyurethane paint. After working one day with Ernie, Danny, and you, the red paint burned into my skin. I thought I would have to work in that place for the rest of my life, be a boring father with nowhere to go but the bowling alley after slaving in an airport full of cigar smoke. The same smoke that would stain our home, the den walls and my thin lungs with the yellow nicotine canopy. I remember your stories of Vietnam and how the curl in your hair straightened, the black paint color lost to the burn of Agent Orange, and it's still burning on the trees hanging just outside and slowly finding its way into our home. This place has eaten the bones of a man working his life away in an airport, and I wonder about the times ahead of me, the times where fear shelters us where everything that matters is nothing you have control over. And I stare into these times ahead of me, into this reflection of my father.